Winter is a great time to stay inside and get cozy. A good time to get some DIY projects done around the house. So some of those might add some value to your home. So Julie and Daniel DeRoche from the DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty, they are here to answer that specific question. Good to see you guys. Good to see, see you. you. Getting us uh, inspired. <laughs> so Julie, let's start with you. So these are all like DIY projects that you can do as you're, as you're saying, hunker down in the winter months. Yeah. But the first one, maybe to get started is hire somebody that can maybe help you get some eyes on it. Yes, exactly. And this is the most basic, but hire someone to come in and go through the whole house with you and talk about if you're going to be selling, what you need to do to the house based off of if you're going to be selling. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of things like that we don't think about in the day to day, like what do your throw pillows look like? Mm -hmm. What do all the little um, accents on your shelves look like? That people pay attention when they walk into the house because when someone walks into your house, it's an emotional experience when they look around. Yeah. So if you have, if your decor doesn't look as nice as the rest of the house, that's gonna throw people off. So really getting a sense of what you need to switch out so you can take the winter to start switching those things out. Also, another big issue that we see is people don't use their rooms the way they should be used for sale. Mm. I understand, I see that. Yeah. yeah, so like if you have a bunch of bedrooms, let's say you have a master bedroom, but then your other two bedrooms on the main floor are used as an office and a workout room. Yeah. One of those actually should be staged as a bedroom. They need to see it. They need yeah. to see it, yeah. yes. Yeah. They're gonna walk into the house and go, oh, there's not enough bedrooms for Don't our kids. Don't make them use their imagination. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So is this is this like an actual, uh, the people actually out there specifically designed to do this? Like is there staging companies or is like, you know, hiring like you guys. Could you guys just come in there and do that consultation as well? Absolutely. It's yep. something I do all the time. I was actually with uh, a couple that reached out from TCL. Thank you guys. Uh, two days ago, and they're actually years from selling, but they really want to know how to make better use of their space. And yeah, pretty much every room in the house that should be a bedroom is not being used as a bedroom right now. One's an office, <laughs> one's like an exercise room. So yeah, it's getting back to that stuff. So I gave them, I probably spent two and a half hours with them coaching them on what to do in preparation and how to enjoy their home a little better for the next few years. Exactly, yeah. while they're in it, if they're going to put money into it, do it in a way that actually mm -hmm. makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about clean the fireplace brick or paint it. Daniel, I have an ugly red brick fireplace. This is a big conversation. Yeah, we're going to have some good photos here too. It, it, there is some controversy over this type of stuff. Like some people do like the old brick right. look, yeah. but a lot of them, like see the soot on that? Like yeah, you that yeah. can be cleaned there. off. But in the next photo, the next photo, all we did was paint that room, yeah. including the fireplace, and added some vinyl plank flooring. And that's a massive difference. That looks so sleek. And it's it can be done so easily by the homeowner. Like you can again, this one, this one didn't have as much soot, but we just went to a light gray on this one, and it changes oh, great. everything. Can we admit not all brick is created equal? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. And then something like this, where we're actually going over the brick, so you can do well. If it's a wood burning fireplace, well, every fireplace. Be careful if you're going to put wood around right. the outside yeah, of your right. fireplace but there's some great tiles that look like wood and different mantles you can swap out that really change all of that and it's such an easy thing for people Layman to do themselves. Layman question, who would you get to do that? Well, a lot of people can do it themselves, a little bit of YouTube and DIY type stuff, but we have a lot of great resources for stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, because sure. some of that stuff you really can just paint on with a roller brush, right? Right over the right over the brick. You gotta clean it first, right? Otherwise, it's gonna peel the first time you have a fire. But yes, you can roll right over it. Yep. Right. Okay. So speaking of of rolling things and painting things, so Julie, also another thing that you can do by yourself. I know it's messy and people don't want to do it, but is addressing wallpaper, yeah. the wall coverings, any sort of paint. That's an easy thing that you can do as well. Yeah, it's like it's bringing interest into a room. Uh, you can also walk into a room and it can feel very just boring or stale. So doing like an accent wall in a room, these slatted walls are Ooh, I've like never seen this. All the all the rage right now. Um, and this is just wood slats that are you know, hung on the wall. Is that going floor to ceiling? It's going to floor to ceiling, wow. yeah. So like doing something like that, maybe behind your bed instead of if having a headboard. But that really brings a lot of interest in the room. Wainscoting, uh. like in a dining room or a living room, just putting up some wainscoting. And again, if you're handy, like I wouldn't attempt these things if you don't want to change the light bulb. Right. But if you're handy, you can figure out how to do this on YouTube and do a whole accent wall. And you don't have to get crazy on that stuff. Like it looks like it's a big panel. Most of the time it's not, it's just little pieces of trim 
over your sheetrock. The back parts are still just the sheetrock. So it's just these little pieces of trim. And now you're painting it all differently. Just make sure it it's level and straight. <laughs> <laughs> the details. Yeah, yeah. the details. Uh, you, uh, you have some ideas about the pesky garage. I want you to come over to my place and help me with my garage. So I'm going to go off the rails a little bit on this one. I go to so many people's homes because they invite me over. They're out of storage. They want to move because they have no room for their stuff. Well, for starters, get rid of some of the stuff. It'd be helpful. Uh -huh. But in the garage, so this is in a lower level. This is just some common sense cleaning that, again, anybody can tackle this in the winter. And, you know, the whole point behind this is what can we do in the winter because we're locked indoors and it sucks outside. It doesn't suck for everybody. It just I find it cold out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's simple stuff. But then you get in the garages. The cost of building out, like, um, your entry, your mudroom type thing, and getting all those built-ins and stuff, if you put that same money into a heater in your garage and cleaning up your garage, one of the simplest things is all the way around the top of your garage. Build a shelf two feet out, two feet down, all the way around the top. You can get, go to, I don't care where you go, go to Target, buy yourself. Most garages are going to be like 70 feet of lineal storage up there. Go buy some tubs, put all your stuff up there. Now your garage floor is all back and do a mudroom in your garage. Like put up the cubbies in your garage. The money you'll spend not remodeling a mudroom and trying to create storage oh, in there when it's already idea. too tight, bring that into the garage, clean up the garage, heat it, build that mudroom into the garage, and now all the dirt stays outside. The yes. kids' dirty like boots and your rain jackets, it's a life changer. I love yeah. your passion. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, this was, this was great. This is all awesome tips. I love the idea of keeping the mess out of the house and in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate Thanks for it, you the guys. Info, guys. All right. If you're looking to buy or sell, make sure to talk to Julie and Daniel's team before you do. You can connect with them at drealtyg.com. Up next.